Hey there, everybody. It's your old pal. <laughs> uh, poor kid that lives in a bad family. I don't know what to do anymore. It's gotten out of hand. It's gotten out of hand completely. Everything. My mom broke my TV. There's another thing out of my long hair fallout for herself. Life. She pawned my Xbox again. She's never gonna stop pawning it. All these great memories, dude. Remember when it seemed to get better? Back in, in November. Uh, specifically on the 23rd. Yeah, I remember that too. And come back home to everything being back in my room and everything just. Yep, did Daisy! It's all perfect. Just like everything else in my life, it all spiraled down. Came up, down, up, down, up, down. It's never been a fucking change. I don't think it's ever going to get better. I, I don't think it's ever going to get better. My life is just... I don't know what happened. It is. I don't. After five months, you'd expect it to get better. But I don't. I don't think it, it is. You know, bad luck after bad luck after bad luck. That's that's all it's been recently. <laughs> My dad is the only thing that's helped me, and I think I'm gonna lose him too. Once I lose that, I'm I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna. I recently attempted suicide. You guys, you guys know what I've been through. Look at this room redesign. room redesign was before Christmas. My life had gotten better. I would have actually gotten something for Christmas. Wait, what? No, I got for Christmas? For my mom? <laughs> Battlefield 1. That's it. That's Promise Infinite Warfare. That's it! I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop making these videos. I don't want you guys to see me anymore. I'm gonna hide away. You know, just like what my dad said that one day. Just like my dad said that one day I'm gonna be away for a few months or no one could find me. Hell, I'm probably gonna be gone forever. A trip in Florida, maybe I'm gonna go to LA. <laughs> I don't know, man. Love your family. And never forget what we shared. Because the last thing that I want you to have, guys, is a life like me. My long hair.
had fought out for herself is no longer a goal. It's never going to be achieved. It's never going to be achieved! Appreciate what you have. Do not forget. Do not forget to keep it real. What's going on, my gang? Um, just a bit of a status update from what you just watched momentarily. That was not the correct word. <laughs> um, obviously, I did not write a script for this, but. This is kind of a response video to the video that you just watched. Um, it's been five years and five months since I recorded that. <clears throat> um, to say a lot has changed is a massive understatement. Um, life is pretty different now. I am living in Florida, in a half a million dollar beach house. Subtle flex, guys, sorry. Um, financi I'm financially comfortable to the max, you know. That's not a worry anymore. Um, and that was a big worry, too. But what I soon came to realize back then is financial stability was not the main issue. Like, I thought my parents were, well, my mother and the guy she was dating. We're just like constantly broke because they were just having issues, bad luck financially. That was not the case. <laughs> it was drugs. Um, this all came to a head when I was 12. Just put that into perspective. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. I'm 17 now. But I was 12 when this happened. And um, I moved in with my dad about four months after that video was almost six about five months five or six months I don't know I don't remember after that video was filmed which was you know I thought that was going to be the true way to end it <laughs> um but it was not I you know I was still depressed and a lot of things happened then um and I just kind of realized that it was not the way to go so, I moved in with my grandmother in September of 2018. That's about a year and a half already since that video was recorded. And now it's been four years. <laughs> so what's happened then? Um, well, for starters, when I was living in my dad's, things weren't horrible. Um... It was nice for the first couple months, and then I went to school, and we lived in the city, um, University City, Missouri. Um, it was really ghetto. I wasn't happy there, and I got suspended for stupid things. I won't even go into that. It's a whole separate topic for a different day. Um, <clears throat> but it was bad, and I was in a pretty dark place. Honestly, I'd say I was in a darker place than I was when I shot this video, or the video you saw beforehand. Um... It was bad. It was probably one of my darkest months of my life. April 2018. It was pretty bad. Um, but May 2018, it got better. And it just sort of got getting better. And I moved to Florida. Um, and I was there. I, from, I moved back to my dad's for summer in 2019. But from the when I moved to my grandma's initially to when I went to see my dad for the summer, it was decent. I did figure it out. I was bipolar. So I really wasn't mentally great back then, which sucked. But you know, what can you do? Um, I got a therapist after I got back, but that was a different 
different uh, scenario. That was after my father died in December 2019. And I remember always thinking, like, when I shot the video you saw beforehand, I was like, oh, when my dad dies, it's over for me, you know? Like, I'm done. Um, but that wasn't the case. You know, I'm still here, kicking five and a half years later. But, um, we made it. <laughs> after 2019, December 2019, that's when the pandemic began, as we all know. Um, and that was a whole separate can of worms. Um, that was when my bipolar episode part two came. 2019 was a big one. I won't get into that, though, because we're not talking about mental illness. Um, this is more so about 12-year-old me being in a not financially stable situation. But I did have two big bipolar uh, episodes while I was living here. And one was started late 2020, started early 2021. It was bad. Um, but... I've basically been in the same situation since my dad died. Just living here comfortably in Florida, making the most out of every day, with nothing to worry about. It's a just far cry from what it used to be, um, which is great. <laughs> it's a, it's amazing. Like I, I think it's just been so long. It's been almost six years since I shot this video. It's been so long now that. I can't even remember what it was like, but I know I used to, like, not eat for four days and shit like that. Like, it was bad. It was some bad shit, man. But, I mean, what can you do, you know? Like, you live and learn, and I lived and I learned, and I became a better person from it. Not initially. When it first happened, I used to just rub, I used to trauma dump in everyone's face and rub it in everyone's face. Like, oh, I experienced a bad thing. Yeah, so have all of us, you know, but I didn't need to tell people that, and honestly, I don't. <laughs> my grandma is my mother now to most people, um, and that's just kind of how it is. I, um, it's nice to just be able to say that, to say my mother is now a financially stable, successful, great woman. That makes me happy, because my real mother is not, unfortunately. But I still keep in contact with her since my dad died. It's been almost three years since my dad died, which is crazy to say. That was not what I was expecting either when I shot that video. It was the furthest thing from my mind. But it happened. And uh, that sucks. But I'm still here. I'm still kicking. And I'm definitely the happiest I've been in a long time. You know, life is moving steadily along now. Um, I got a job interview in a few days. I just quit my job at Duncan. Uh, I'm getting my license next month. I didn't get my license when I was 16 because COVID bipolar episode was bad. I was not mentally in the right place for that. Um, and then I'm, you know, getting school shit done, taking four AP next year, redoing my SAT because I'm 1110. And then I'm going to be applying to the University of North Florida and we'll just see what life is like from them. But being honest, if I was still in the same situation that I was when you saw the when I, when I shot the video you just saw, um, I would probably be a high school dropout. <laughs> I got all D's in middle school. I would have been held back or some shit like that. So yeah, thank God that didn't happen because <laughs> that would have sucked ass. But we made it. I can confidently say we made it. I mean, I'm doing better in high school. I was really bad uh, academically back in the day when I shot that video. I just can't believe that was five and a half years ago. Like, I just watched it on my TV there. I've also watched it on my VR headset. It's kind of like a way of, like, flexing on myself that I'm able to watch it on all these tech items I did not have access to back then. So I watched it on my VR headset. I watched it on my big screen. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll watch it in a movie theater next time. Um... Who knows? <laughs> and who knows? Maybe in a year I'll be in a worse situation. I'll be homeless or some shit. But hopefully not. <laughs> Let's just pray that that will not happen. Um, so, yeah. All respect to 2017 Aiden. Coming from 2022 Aiden. All respect to 12-year-old me. Coming from 17-year-old me. You know, we're living. 
we're living large now. Not really. I'm just financially comfortable, it's fine. You know, like I'm living like every other child should be, which is great. Um, Cause I was not, I got, I used to not eat for like four days. I eat a lot now, as you can see. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe I'll do another service update in 2027, 10 years from now. We'll see what that's like. But from 17 year old, 2022 me, this is it. Um, love your family, what did I say? I copied that whole video from my Juggernauts, by the way, but I was not acting. <laughs> I was telling the whole truth. I was trauma dumping on a bunch of YouTubers and other viewers of my video, people that use YouTube. I didn't upload it. I don't think I ever actually uploaded it. Hold on, I'm gonna join the way. Um, I don't think I ever actually uploaded it, which is good, because I don't think people needed to see that. But, um... <sighs> Shit's bussin'. <laughs> I, also, I was filming that at a fucking ZTE Maven 2. You can tell the camera quality is so bad. I upgraded my camera equipment a little bit. I'm filming this on an iPhone 13 Pro, which is better than a ZTE Maven, I don't know, you let me know, is there still like blue artifacting in the video? If there is, well fuck me, I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> um, God damn, this is running 10 minutes. I guess I'll see ya in 2027 when I do another status update. Bye. And the... Um, Stay ballin'. I don't know. That's my new catchphrase. Bye, guys. Yes.